everyone. Um, in case you don't know, I'm Jade. Um, it's truly an honor to be standing in front of each of you to run for the position for Vice President of Communications. When I first joined the club two and a half year, two and a half about years ago, I never would have dreamed that I would have the pleasure to be a member of the executive board or a secretariat or be a chair. And to have the opportunity to serve as vice president for membership, I'm still honestly so immensely grateful that you put your trust in me to have that job. In that role, I was able to get to know our wonderful new members and develop uh, closer relationships with older members. Whether it was shielding my eyes in a haunted house while desperately holding on to Kelly because I hate scary things but love you all, um, or standing at the involvement fair for seven hours to pass out information about Saida, or freaking out in the office with a Han um, over placement of buddies, I have loved every minute of my experience um, and I will treasure it as I move forward in my collegiate career. I mention each of those things because I hope to explain just how much I love being a member of the Penn State International Affairs and Debate Association. And I hope to have the opportunity to continue to do so um, as your Vice President for Communications. Um, throughout this past year, I've witnessed the importance of this position. As Vice President for Communications, I would continue to send emails twice a week, one on Sunday after our meeting as a way to keep members updated on new information, and one on Wednesday as a reminder email. I would focus on making them concise and all, but also informative to ensure readability. I would also continue to post on our social media channels at least once a week to promote our club, conferences, and members. I would also continue to work with the VP of membership to continue the SIATA member of the week, as I feel it is a great way to get to know members of our organization. And as the official keeper of the group meet, I would maintain proper decorum by encouraging useful and informative posts and limit outside conversations to prevent the muting of the group meet. Um, and while this year has shown me how fantastic uh, VPCOM can be, I believe that we should always strive to reach new heights. To begin, I would like to use our social media as a recruitment tool. In addition to sharing information about socials and meetings, I, be I believe that a promotion of our club at the beginning of the year and the beginning of each semester through social media could be a valuable tool to reach out to the greater Penn State community and increase our membership. In order to do this, I would create very specific posts for us to share at the beginning of each semester, probably using Canva because I love it. I myself was essentially recruited through social media when I saw posts freshman year with captions about something called Psi Ada and PHUNC, who knows. If we can create unified Instagram stories and Facebook posts, friends of ours, some of whom would probably love this organization, would have a clear idea of what Saida is. In addition, I would like to prepare a promo video for the beginning of the semester to get returning members excited for the year and show new members of Saida, uh, show new members what Saida means to each and every one of us. The promo video would showcase our, both our official events like Funk and Punk and our membership so the members can get to know faces right away. Finally, I would like to work closely with the technology chair to create an app for Saida, an official app, similar to the apps used for Funk and Pump. The app would contain information about meetings, specifically a tentative timeline, important sign-up forms for easy access, and a list of members and contact information, and much more. I feel that an app for Saida is the next step for Vice President of Communications. Finally, I want to conclude with this. Um, uh, I was recently filling out an application for another club that I'm in, and for some reason my writing really wasn't speaking to me, it was kind of bothering me, and I couldn't really put my finger on it. Um, and then I started writing my platform for Sayedal pretty much the next, next day, and I realized exactly what was wrong. Um, as I was typing it, I noticed that I kept using the word there instead of our. For example, like I think that they should do this to get for this organization because it would benefit them. Uh, you get it. Um, every time I talked about Sayeda, though, I used the word our. Um, and according to the internet, which is always factual and never wrong, um, there is essentially used to replace him or her. It implies another person. Um, but our is used to replace we. And I just think that that really encapsulates Saida so well. Most times I feel as though I'm a part of a club and there are other people in the club. Um, but we are Saida. Everyone in this room is Saida. The people that staff funk, that staff punk, that's Saida. And um, ask anyone here a new member, old member, alumni, and they'll have a story to tell you about the first time that Saida felt like their home. Um, there's no greater family than Saida here at Penn State, and you can see in the way we talk about our organization and the way we talk about people in it. Um, and that's what makes this organization so unbelievably special to me and why I would love to serve as your next Vice President for Communications. So thank you for listening to me, and I truly appreciate your time. To reiterate the question that I asked earlier, um, it's really difficult to get everyone to read your emails and stay on the same page. Uh, that in mind, if you have a communications platform, email, group me, et cetera, you plan to focus your efforts on. 
Yeah, um, so I think that actually including the eggs like we were talking about with Kelly is still a really great idea. But I actually think that it's a good idea to tell people about them so that they're looking through it in the group meet. I know that it was a great surprise with Kelly, but I also feel like that we could use that to kind of encourage people to look at the emails if they're also getting a fun kind of thing included with it. Andrew. So, um, if elected vice president for communications, would you have specific plans, goals, or other ideas for working with the secretariats um, from not just a perspective of promoting the organization, but promoting um, our conferences and conference attendance? Oh, most definitely. Um, I think that's a great idea. Um, Funk and Punk are very impressive feats that we accomplished, and I'd love to like get that out to the greater Penn State community. Um, I think that the vice president for communications is a really in in integral role in that. So. Um, okay. Um, sorry, I just have a question. Um, could you give us a little more information about how the app works? Like, if you've done anything on there or not? Yes. So, um, in another club that I'm in, they use an app called Group Ahead. Um, it's very, it, it seems very simple. Um, if I can do it, anybody can do it. Um, and it would be like forty-one dollars a month, which I feel could fit it pretty well into the VP Comms budget, um, theoretically. And. Um, so, like I said, it would take a little bit of time because just to get like used to new things, but I think that we could really use it to um, promote our club and kind of, not necessarily promote our club, but have our members be more aware of different resources that they have with our club. 156, uh, Dylan. You mentioned the importance of keeping the quorum in the group and I agree that it's very important. Uh, how exactly do you see yourself keeping the quorum, keeping people in the official group uh, appropriate and professional? Yeah, so that's definitely something that we've had kind of a problem with, not necessarily a problem with, but an issue with in the past. Um, and I think that it's important to just kind of like show the rules. You know, we have the like important document of rules um, that people have to follow in the group meet. And I think also like cautiously and like nicely reminding people that like this is an official platform and we're hoping to use it to like so that people know information is a really great way because I think people respond really well to kind of like just telling them something as opposed to slapping it down. Next. Okay. So my second question is, as currently you should be washed up VP membership, how would you improve the relationship between next year's VP membership and VPCOM if you were to be elected? Um, I think that the, the connection between VPCOM and VP membership is the most one of the most important in Saida. Um, you really can't keep new members, you can't reach out to new members without the role of VP Tom. So I would work very closely with whoever is next VP membership um, to make sure that new members are aware of events, um, deadlines, things like that. And I would also um, continue to do the member of the week kind of question, the, the member of the week platform, as I said before, um, because I think that's a really great way to show people um, different quirks about some of our members. So, Anna. Wait, uh, what's the time? 50 seconds. Okay. Um, so, We've talked about how there's kind of a lot of room for growth in our club um, as far as um, our interpersonal relationships and stuff like that, but even just volume-wise, we have room for more new members, um, and we've had an awesome new large freshman class. Um, how do you intend to use the position of VPCOM to recruit the class of 2023? So, um, I, like I said before, like working very closely with the VP membership, whoever that would be, I think is a really important tool. Also using social media, I think that's kind of untapped potential that we have, that, that we have because you know we do know new members, um, Showtime mentors know their buddies, things like that, that I think would be a really great way to recruit a new class. It's like loud and it tells you when it's coming. Um, and I think that that is like a very important um, aspect to have as VP Tom. Um, also, I like the bells on the bicycle. So. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys.